Hi guys. Um, just surviving after my 24-hour drunk stream and another whole bunch of other streams and whatnot. Getting ready to do the Pixel Podcast. Today's Wednesday. I did the drunk stream Monday and I did a stream yesterday. So my voice is a little bit hoarse. I was getting a little bit too rambunctious during my stream. I want to apologize for that. Again, sorry, that's normally not me. But anyway, um, some of you guys expressed a want to see my setup, my everything else. And so here it is, finally, this is a setup video. This is not the end all. I'm still waiting on some things to get to me. Of course, this is my green screen. You guys know the green screen. I've always had a green screen. Uh, well, not always had a green screen. I've only recently had the green screen for about a year now. Um, so first things first. Um, <clears throat> Uh, we've got uh, the wife's lap the wife's laptop slash uh, uh, secondary system to check. I have this up to uh, check the quality of the stream. Now this is on a wireless network. It's not actually hardwired in. It's just running Windows 10. Um, so yeah, there is that. So as you can see, basically this is sort of to make sure that everything's taken from like the, the stream's tags to everything else. Also, this is uh, 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 logged into my trolling account. And yes, I have a trolling account. Uh, this over here is the gaming machine that I just recently built. This monitor and this monitor. And there is the gaming machine inside its case. Excuse the mess. Uh, I haven't finished putting the panels on or anything else yet. Um, this monitor is going to be replaced. As you can see, the screen is cracked. So uh, this monitor will be replaced. So will this one. This one will be, should be going back to its original machine. This monitor and this monitor are my current gaming machine. Uh, as you can see, I am getting ready to do a podcast, so camera inception moment. So, you know, and of course there's TeamSpeak. Uh, let me uh, jump down into the channel switch there and just Sound do that. And um, of course there, it, it is water cooled, my current rig. Again, this rig is just on its legs. I've been jerry rigging this thing so bad it's not even funny. There is the fan speed controller that... Uh, that died and took out uh, one of my hard drives and um, almost killed my graphics card I might add so yeah there is that um, that's pretty much it guys I've got a, a, a Xbox 360 down there um, it's hooked into a HD capture card that you guys can see and then it's hooked into the TV here this is a TV not a monitor um, and so this mouse as you can see I'm watching a Jay's two cents video here um, it's hooked up to that one so I and I keep forgetting that this is not part of this machine anymore so I'm standing here doing this number moving my team speaker and why won't you go into the other monitor and I realize oh duh that's right you know you're uh, you're uh, not part of this machine anymore so there is that I do plan on getting some separate panels for, for the, the new machine and actually setting it up over here now you guys are thinking wait wasn't this table over there yes this table was over there I have moved this table uh, since uh, reason why is because I want to have the editing machine and the gaming machine really close to each other because I don't want to run a whole metric ass ton of HDMI cables and a whole bunch of other things all over the place and I want to excuse me I want to um, keep it as simple as I can kiss keep it simple stupid uh, I don't want to have you know cables going over and this that and the other and all this stupid shit I don't want that I want it to be simple I want it to I want it simplicity because it works um, so the steel series keyboard and mouse is controlling the gaming PC PC my Razer and my Cobra uh, keyboard is on my uh, current streaming machine once I get my HDMI uh, a splitter cable I will be uh, uh, moving the left-handed gaming mouse over to the gaming machine. Uh, I'm also getting a new keyboard too, so that that that's a good thing. So I'll be moving that over so the Steel Series will finally be retired, uh, simply because I just can't read the keys. Um, my wife's fingernails have quite literally gouged off. See, all the keys. I I I I can't use it. I, I just can't use it. I can't even see what I'm doing. Uh, and the space bar, as you can see on this key, it, it, yeah, it, that's not me pressing the key. See, that's how that's how loose it is. If I have to press it, I have to hit it dead in the center. So, 
that's why I've been complaining during heads and generals uh, because I can't jump to avoid certain things uh, so that kind of sucks I will just rebind it to your mouse no just no um, so yeah that's my, my, my setup guys um, I'm also gonna be in the middle of doing a review of this sucker uh, the Raymax Vortex V4 I purchased this case as part of the combo deal for the gaming rig so uh, this isn't a paid review so uh, um, yeah there is that uh, no I will not be putting the gaming rig in that again I'm leaving the gaming rig in the current uh, chassis that she's in uh, I might take her out uh, and put her in the case for ease of simplicity again kiss I want to keep it simple uh, but in order for me to do that I've actually got to make another high riser now you're probably thinking why are my monitors sitting so high what the heck is this thing this is what's known as a high riser basically it's a it's a shelf on legs as you can see the legs it's just a shelf on legs to bring the monitors up to your natural eye height so you're not constantly bending down straining your neck or looking up straining your your, your eyes uh, you always want to keep something perpendicular to your eyes. You don't want to always be looking down or up. You want to keep it perpendicular to your eyes. It's a lot easier for you. It's a lot natural for you. Um, so that's what I do. I've got to build another high riser to actually match this high riser and uh, set it up. But unfortunately, I can't do that because these two tables are not the same height. Um, as you can see, they're... Uh, this one's actually falling apart. So um, I plan on uh, just buying a whole bunch of new tables, uh, new folding tables. They're actually cheaper. They're like like thirty something bucks at Walmart. So I'm probably going to buy like five or six of those suckers, and uh, just set them up, throw some sheets over them, and uh, have them set up just very similar to this. Uh, keep these tables. Of course, this one, this brown one, is actually pretty good. I'm probably going to put my. Uh, uh, my paint booth and a few other things on there and use this table for doing like photo shoots and things because uh, I recently acquired some high quality like 3,000, 4,000 thread count uh, uh, um, cotton uh, sheets that I plan on using so when I get like a new product in for review like that uh, mouse like that, that case I can actually sit it on the sheets take some actual proper professional freaking uh, uh, photos with the uh, camera I've got face down over there I don't know why it's over there should be in its case but with that one proper lighting and everything and uh, again it's more about quality for you guys uh, again I'm still waiting on my HDMI capture card I'm still waiting on my new keyboard I'm still waiting on my fucking new headset I'm still waiting I am waiting on about eight to nine fucking things that have either been still sitting in New Jersey or still sitting in Colorado you lazy fuckers at the post office I understand this is oh it's a stressful time of the year yeah it's even more stressful for people who have ordered shit in November and we still haven't got our shit you know so it is what it is but uh, I'm still waiting on that once the HDMI splitter cable gets here uh, I'm obviously gonna start looking at probably Put, taking it out the, the the big D project putting it in this small case for now so that way I can slide it under the table save on cable running length etc etc save on table space uh, desk space and a whole bunch of other bloody things I'm still actually I'm actually thinking about taking my current rig and putting it down on the table uh, underneath the table same as the gaming rig that way I've got a lot more table room to uh, do stuff with uh, again, uh, so I may do another update video to this video, but uh, for now, you guys wanted to see uh, an office tour. There you go. The rest of my office, you really don't want to see. It's just a huge, great big flat screen TV behind here with a whole bunch of classic consoles hooked up to it. Uh, uh, N64s, GameCubes, Dreamcast, 8-bit uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendos, Atari 2600. You know stuff like that. You know that that stuff's boring. I'm not a real gamer. You know, you know I'm just part of the PC master race. You know, PC, 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 PC. Fuck you, Mac. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave the video here. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and don't forget, guys, come hang out on uh, twitchtv slash Cobras today because it's a uh, the first. Well, it's the last episode of the Pixel Podcast this year, so uh, it should be a good one. So until then, guys, take care. Keep your chest fine. Keep your enemies fine. Cover Commander is out, my buddies, and I'll see you guys in the next one.